field due to a uniformly charged ring at its axial point. So we have a ring which has a charge Q and a radius R and at a distance X from its center we need to find the electric field. So we'll take a small element here DL and due to this element we'll find a small electric field DE and we'll take a D cos theta component because you can see by symmetry this element will cancel out the vertical component of this element but horizontal components will add up so due to symmetry field along the normal will be zero only ex remains so only in x direction we will have field so that field dex is equal to d cos theta so de is because of this dl so we'll consider this length it will be k dq by square of this length times cos theta so cos theta will be x upon root of this so we integrate this and we put the value of dq also which will come to be q because everything else is constant so e at an axial position is kqx by x square plus r square power 3 by 2 now if you plot this curve it will come like this so in the positive direction in the if you consider this as origin on the right side field will be positive and left side will be negative it will reach a peak somewhere and then it will again go back to zero at infinity so if you want to find out where its maximum value we will differentiate this with respect to x and we'll make it zero to see where it reaches its maximum value so if you just do the differentiation of this you will get that e comes to be maximum at x is equal to r by root 2 so yes this formula is important and this is the field due to a uniformly charging at its axial point